Imagine a world in which you design a car in the morning and in the afternoon you get your car parts and there you go. Imagine a world in which we didn't have to worry about bridges that corrode and fall down. We're Modumetal. We are a manufacturer of advanced nanolaminated alloys. I'm the co-founder. I come from a family of nuclear scientists. I'm actually fourth generation in the nuclear industry. We manufacture metal in a very different way. We actually don't use heat. We're actually using electricity. And the metals we produce are not like conventional metals. They are layered metals. We're rewriting the future of metals by virtue of the way we're designing and architecting materials. They are an example of a company that's rewriting across multiple sectors. They are deeply impacting manufacturing. That is a clear example of a rewrite. Essentially what we're doing here is we're growing metal in plastic tanks. It's a very similar process, in fact, to the way Mother Nature grows rings on trees. When you cross-section a tree, you see rings. In our case, we're modulating an electric field to produce the same kind of layered structure, except it's a metal layer. If you look at a samurai sword, well, the samurai sword is our predecessor. It was a layered structure that was achieved by hammering a metal and then folding a metal and then hammering a metal and then folding a metal and I could go on so that when you hit your blade against somebody else's sword, it didn't shatter. It was an art form. We're bringing that art form to the industrial scale which basically means the ability to produce metals with characteristics we can't achieve today. We can produce a material that's stronger than conventional steel. We can produce a material that's harder than conventional hard chrome. We can produce materials that can withstand high temperatures and not corrode. So we can run tests of our materials in an accelerated way that have been subjected to this salty fog environment. This is a conventional zinc-based alloy. This is what's called galvanized. It's the most commonly used corrosion-resistant coating in the world. It's been in the box for a few months, right? And it started to corrode. This is a nanolaminated zinc alloy. You can see there's no corrosion on that surface. This has been in the box for three years. In the real world, this matters because corrosion is the cause of failure of a lot of our infrastructure. So imagine a world in which that infrastructure could last generations instead of years. We're going to rewrite this industry across the board. Metals touch us in many more ways than we necessarily realize. They are the foundation of infrastructure, of energy, of construction, of transportation. So for you, it might mean that your car is lighter than it used to be. The neighborhood has a modumetalization facility and you can design a part in your living room and manufacture it for delivery the next day. Really, I can't imagine any industry that isn't gonna be impacted by nanolaminated alloys in the future.